Okay, let me take one more time, one more spin here at Goose Creek. Goose Creek is a course on Route 7, just east of Leesburg. And it it is a course which has almost a, a schizophrenic personality. I, I really don't like this course for some simple reasons. Some of the holes are just a little bit too cute and too twisted and it's too easy to lose your ball on them some of them have a you know like there's a i think there's a posted stamp green on on number one it is it is just the last time i played it it was and and i will i will say the the shots that you're looking at it was 35 degrees that day when i played this was this was you know the middle of february or something when i played it the last time and i I actually had a, a decent round that day, but a lot of people were frozen off the course, so I, I, I don't know what to say. But um, the, the first hole or second hole or something that has a, a postage stamp size green. It's like literally like a square that's six feet on the side and, and really just crap for green. It was, it was heavily sanded. It was just a, a, a disaster. You know, it's like some kind of temporary thing or something they put there. But the front side overall is not bad. The backside overall is not bad. There are just, there's some holes on the front and some holes in the back, which I, I just don't like those holes. I think they're, they're a little bit too much in a little bit too small of a space. I guess if, if you, if you want to play precision golf and you know the course well enough to do so, then they're okay. But if you really don't, know the course that well you know, like it's you know the first time you played in five years or something or you want to hit long shots it's not it's not that great and 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 that's that's where the thing comes in is it's not that long if you like to play long shots but it is very tight and convoluted and it has a lot of holes where the the um fairway breaks off to the right and drops down steeply or or um you know things like that or it, it does penalize you heavily for missing a shot by a few degrees, okay? And it, it, it will definitely reward you if you're a plotter, you go out there, you say, okay, I'll hit a five iron, five iron, you know, nothing really, you know, long. And just take your, your you know, two or three strokes to get on the green, hit a decent drive, hit a couple of strokes, get on the green. That's the kind of golf that this course really rewards. It doesn't record, reward a big banger, someone who's a big swinger who swings out and then likes to take long irons, you know, long woods to the green. There's only, there are a couple holes where you can do that, but for the most part, the course will bite you if you try to do that. And while it, it is fairly open on the front and on the back, it still has enough waste in places and um, enough water, and and you, you do play close enough to the borders where there's OB all OB all along the sides on the on the going out towards the number twelve or thirteen hole. There's OB where the um, the lake the water is, the river is on the backside, and you come back up the up towards the route seven, and then there's OB out on the left. You won't see more than a couple of houses on this course, but you will see a lot of road noise, a lot of traffic on Route 7, on the holes on the front side, which are, say, um, 6, 7, and 8. You know, um, there's, you're playing right out there next to, the, next to a, a, a six-lane highway, essentially, and it does get really noisy and, and, and really kind of a pain there. But that's only like three or four of the holes. Most of the, hole, most of the course is pretty quiet. So I, I just think it, I just think it is kind of an awkward, it certainly is different. It certainly is not like most courses and you certainly can get yourself into trouble fairly easy in this course if you don't hit the ball under good control, which some people like and some people would say that's, that's what should happen. But this course is it's sneaky in a sense that it can it can it can show you something after you've hit a shot that if you'd known it was there before you hit it you probably wouldn't hit that same shot uh certainly the number nine um t box you're playing 
on a, a, a hole that slopes le- you know right to left into the woods. The uh, green is an uphill approach shot to this 10 foot high tabletop green with the big plateau on the right side and a big slope on the left side. And if you know that there's you know a big flat plateau on the right side, you definitely wouldn't you know <laughs> you'd aim more for the right than for the left. Um, you know, just a lot of little sneaky stuff like that that can bite you if you don't know it and certainly can help you a lot if you take advantage of it. This course is 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 certainly a good course to play if you're familiar with the course. It can be a lot of trouble if you're not. And I, I just find it to be a bit awkward in that regard. But, okay, fair, fine, that's the way it is. What are we going to call this, this the rating for this course? I... I think that you could start off with a, 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 a B or C. It's got a nice clubhouse, good uh, restaurant inside. Um, doesn't have much of a deck though. I think there's there's some there's a little bit of a deck that looks down over uh, like the number three hole, but you can't really <clears throat> say it's much of a deck. It's okay. The thing is, what I would say is that it's it's a decent clubhouse, which is important. And it's it's a it, the course is in decent condition, and it's and it's certainly challenging. There's no question about that. It's not very long, but it's certainly challenging, and it's got a lot of verticality, and um, on the, especially in the front, it's got a lot of up and down. There's some up and down on the back, but not nearly as much as there in the front. So I think the course is uh, presentable. It it is it is certainly a challenge. And it really can't be scored at less than a B minus. Honestly, the clubhouse is certainly decent. I give it a B for that. I, obviously, there wasn't any greenskeeper activity when I was playing, and it was 35 degrees outside. Um, so I pass on that. And the only real strike, the, the only strike I think the course actually can't talk its way out of is all that road noise on the right side on on like you know from for number four five and six and seven and eight (laughs) and nine you know i i don't think it can talk its way out of that that is that is certainly a burden that this course has to bear and i think that it would be three b's and a c and a, a a b minus plus b plus minus you know, somewhere between a B minus and a B, certainly, and it, it, it's 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 an okay round if you don't mind its its quirks. Let's put it that way. That is Goose Creek, just outside of Leesburg, Virginia, on Route Seven on the east side.